Hey guys, I just finished up a client project and even though I can't show you right now the designs I did, I do want to share with you kind of the process and how I was thinking about it because I think it can be very, very valuable. I shared with you a couple of days ago, I was meeting one of my clients and they actually told me we need you to design and build a landing page for us. And then I start asking a lot of questions like where do people are going to come and arrive to this landing page? Uh, what's going to happen after they leave their emails? What's what's the process afterwards? And actually my client didn't have good you know, answers to those questions. They didn't really thought the whole process through and then they told me can you please uh, kind of show us what you think would be the right way uh, and then I went home I did a presentation and some of you guys have asked if I can show you what I showed in the presentation how I was kind of building those flows and this is what I want to show you so my client is actually trying to build a community product and right now they're at the stage where they're trying to bring the first core of users to their product um, so they have to kind of find new clients tell them about it and kind of subscribe them so I want to show you how I presented it to them and how I've actually executed on it. So the first step in building a community is actually reaching out to new customers. So what my client did at this point, they kind of searched over the internet to find potential customers and made a spreadsheet with all of their emails. They've planned to take this mailing list and put it in some emailing service such as MailChimp or something like that to mass email to all of them, please come and check our uh, landing page. But I told them that unfortunately from my experience this is a bad way to do this because this is actually spam. You cannot send a mass like hundreds of people email from a, a mailing service like MailChimp without them actually agreeing to get emails from you. This is kind of bad, you know, this is something bad to do. It's even illegal in some places. MailChimp would kind of rank your account as not very good or even kind of discredit your account. So this is a bad approach. So what I told them that the first step in sending cold emails, and cold emails means emailing people who don't know you, uh, is doing it through your personal email from Gmail and do it one by one. Yes, it takes much longer to send 200 emails from your personal account even if all you do is copy paste and change the name but this is actually legally okay and that's a right way to do this plus when you're sending a personal email from your gmail and it's not even designed it doesn't look kind of like a company trying to sell you something i think there is a much higher um, chance that people will actually open this email and actually read it and click the link if you wrote something again relevant and the email is not too long and something like that so the first step is writing short emails i did that i just wrote the plain text for them including the links to the landing page that's the first step second step is leading them to the landing page as i always do design the landing pages on sketch build them super easily uh, in Webflow and even publish them in Webflow. And the great thing about Webflow is that I, when I did the forms, you know, where you leave your name and email um, in the landing page, I already connected it to MailChimp, which is the email service, right from, it, from Webflow. So it already works even though it's hosted on Webflow. Super cool. So once the pages are done on Webflow, what happens when people fill in the form, it actually takes them to mailing uh, to MailChimp and adds them to a list on MailChimp. Now MailChimp, if you don't know, it's an awesome service for sending emails. We use that in almost all of the products that we create. Um, and they have something great that's called automations. So after somebody has been added to a certain list, for example, people who showed interest in our product, they automatically get a welcome email that, again, I wrote and I designed. And that email says, um, hey, thanks for joining, thanks for showing interest. If you could just take a few minutes to fill in the survey. Now, the reason that I've kind of added survey to this sign-up flow is because that at this stage in a company, in a startup, somebody that's just starting to build a community, what you really, really want to have, and, you know, not just collecting emails is actually get to know your users and customers and a survey asking them a few questions about them and their struggles is really the best way to actually also validate that the product that you're building is actually the right product for these type of customers so 
the first email automated email that they get from MailChimp says welcome thanks for signing up with a button please take like two minutes to fill in a survey so we can better create this product for you and then the last tool I used for doing the surveys is a tool called Typeform, which is a super, super cool and you know beautifully designed tool for creating surveys, which is all, which are also mobile responsive. And it's, I think it's free for. I'm not sure if it's free or paid with the version that we're using, but I think at the new school we're using it for free. Anyway, I've created a simple survey asking them a few questions and linked the email from MailChimp to this survey. So right now, this is what happens almost actually automatically, right? You send the first email from Gmail by hand and from there on, if people sign up, the whole flow is getting, uh, is happening automatically. So we're gonna have a database in MailChimp of people who are showed interest in our product and we're gonna have uh, survey results actually knowing who those people are, some information about them, learning about their struggles so we know that we're building the right thing. So as you can see, a <laughs> client came to me and asking for a landing page and by actually asking the right question and trying to understand the context of these landing pages, I've actually had to create emails uh, do email templates, create a survey and design all of them and you know kind of quadrupled my work but eventually made a much better service for my client. So it's actually been pretty awesome and I'm very happy with the result. Hope that it will be public sometime in the future and I can share that with you but for now hope that's been pretty helpful and hope you guys have a great day and I will catch you next week.